They're gentle, they're sweet, they're kind. They allow you to be a man. They want you to make them feel safe and secure. This was years ago, uh, and when I did, when I decided to kind of think about dating again, I had been out of the normal way of dating. I was with this woman for 16 years. Uh, so, as I got out of that relationship, everyone was getting into the online dating scene. So I started getting on websites here and there. And, kind of trying to experience how that whole thing worked. And, and with the technology nowadays, it'll just get an algorithm, it'll throw some things out there. And that's when AFA came into the scene. Initially, I was attracted to the Ukrainian um, socials. Uh, I researched the women and what they wanted and how they wanted to treat their men. Um, but that's initially how I came to know of AFA. It was it was different than the dating websites because they were more active in helping you to get to where you need to be. Instead of throwing you profiles and asking you to buy money to talk to them, buy credits. So it kind of set itself apart. So that's why I kind of leaned towards AFA. Actually, I didn't even I didn't even book a tour because the more I researched initially, as I said before, with the Ukrainian women, they're beautiful, they're educated, they're family oriented, and all these things that, that basically I'm lacking where I live. So I couldn't actually believe it. If it's too good to be true, it usually is with the way I'm, I'm raised. So I just actually just jumped on a plane and coincidentally there was a social happening at that time and I was told that I could just pay to attend the social. And that's, that's what I did. But what allured me to this is just one picture of one woman that I had a glimpse of for maybe two seconds on one of your on one of your YouTube videos that you have published. And there was something about this particular woman that I could not shake. So when that took hold of me, I started to to watch more and experience more of what Philippines had to offer it and the culture and the women and everything. And what we lack in the United States, they could learn a lot from the Filipino people. Warm, joyous, loving people. And I want that in my life. I'm, that's, that's what allured me to the possibility that I could have somebody like that in my life. The only concern I had was that she would say no. Plain and simple. I just wanted a chance. If all, I, if all I ever got out of this was the chance to meet her, um, I, I would have been fine with it. They're everything that the women in my country seem to think is irrelevant. They're, they're gentle, they're sweet they're kind, they allow you to be a man. They want you to make them feel safe and secure. Um, I don't want to belittle any of my countrymen or countrywomen, but they're losing their femininity. These women are spectacular here. They're gorgeous. And, and what more can you ask for? Are you frustrated with your current dating options? Perhaps you should consider expanding your horizons. Interested? 
Learn more at firstchoicedating.com. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.